don't mind the red lipstick i'm trying out new ones because i'm trying to find a good red i want that french like makeup aesthetic where it's just like you've not really got much else on and then just like a bright red but i don't know if this is my red today i thought it'd be really fun tier listing i'm gonna be tier listing all the books i've ever rated five stars i've got my tier list set up with all of my five stars i've not got that many i'm a very harsh rater i like to think but then again i'm easily pleased so i don't know what everyone's doing wrong go through our categories we have here top category is i want this book tattooed on my forehead so means what it means I'll scream about this to anyone. I'm not usually that forthcoming with things I love because <laughs> this might be something that I should like talk to a therapist about or something. But something about expressing things that I love feels very vulnerable and like someone could really hurt me with that information. I'm trying to be better about it though. Wow, did I just draw it up on you? So sorry, let's move on. Next is I take a quote on my arm. Now, what I'm saying here is in reference to the first one, I'm not going to tattoo that on my forehead, but yeah, I'll have a little quote on my arm, you know. That is a five star, amazing book, but I'm not wearing the the crown of f biggest fan, you know. But next is five star bestie. This is a five star. I'm happy with that rating. Fantastic book. Live, laugh, love it. Next is I can see what I was thinking, but we've grown. So that's a book that I can understand why I rated it a five star at the time. Probably a good book, probably still feel like I'd enjoy it now, but maybe I wouldn't give it a five star now. Last one is, what a mistaker to make her. Do not make fun of the wording of that. That's what that's what my mum says when we make a mistake. And I think it's cute. So that's basically a book that maybe I rated a five stars. And then in the following few days or weeks, I was like, no, this is definitely not five stars. Or it could be a book that I'm looking back at it now. And I'm like, don't know what I was thinking. Not five stars. First book that I ever rated a five stars when I first started reading was The Fine Print. I remember very vividly when I started it, I was on a train, I was coming home to visit and I started The Fine Print and it just felt so different from any book I'd ever read. Not writing wise or story wise or whatever necessarily but more so just you know when you get a five star feeling and that's what i immediately got from the book and it was like a magical reading experience for me because i felt like that's when i really decided oh yeah i love doing this i'm not just like reading because i want to love reading i actually love reading so i'm gonna put this in i can see what i was thinking but we've grown because I think if I read it now, I wouldn't give it a five stars. But since it was my first five stars, I I wouldn't say it was a mistake to make her. And I did feel like it was a five stars at the time. Next book is Consider Me by Becca Mack. This is a hockey romance. I went for a phase where all I wanted to read was hockey romance. I don't know what that says about my brain at the time. I'm probably still in it. I'll take a hockey romance, you know something really fun about that but yeah i absolutely love this book and i think it's probably the book that i've reread the most because sometimes i'll just like read a little bit like a few chapters of it if i've got nothing else i want to read but i'm in the mood to read um and to be honest i probably take a quote on my arm i love this book and the reason i love this book is carter motherfucking beckett oh my god top tier book book top tier book boyfriend in my personal opinion if you haven't read consider me i really would recommend it before he meets her he's like massive playboy no girl can keep him down he literally meets her instantly is like Ooh. and never looks at another girl again basically which we love we live off love that that's what i want in all book boyfriends I know it's not realistic and in real life it'd probably be really creepy but this is not real life this is a book and I fucking loved it next is things you never got over I remember really clearly thinking that the book was so long like looking at it before I read it like oh I don't know if I can be bothered to read that book because I was used to like my 300 page little romances and then I picked it up couldn't put it down absolutely loved it again we love Knox 
don't know how I feel about him peeing outside. That was a different thing to do. But I am going to put this in five star bestie because I do think if I read it now, I would still enjoy it probably just as much because I really did love this one. Next book I have is Ghosted by J.M. Darhauer. Um, I bought this because Sarah Crowley read it and she really loved it. And when she was explaining it, it just sounded so like it would be right up my alley. It's basically about this famous guy who is a superhero. He's kind of like, I pictured Chris Evans. That's who I feel like the book is based off, to be fair. I loved this book and I just really enjoyed it. However, I don't remember all that much about it. Like there's not like little scenes that will come to mind. For example, consider me things we never forgot over. I can think of like cute little scenes, especially with the couple that aren't based on the overall plot. I can't with Ghosted. So I'm going to say I can see what I was thinking, but we've grown. Oh, no, do you know what? I'm going to put five star bestie because okay i'm not i'm thinking an in between but there's not an in between of those two so i'm gonna go with five star bestie next is curse of the wolf king by tessandra odette this is part of the entangled with fey series this is the first book in the entangled with fey series i have since read the second book i haven't continued but i have the third book um and i gave this a five star it's a beauty and the beast retelling i believe which I love the idea of retellings in general so that's already a couple points if it's gonna be a, if it's a good retelling I'm probably gonna love it I don't remember a single thing about it so I gave it a five star but I don't remember a single thing about it so how can I comfortably put it any higher than I can see what I was thinking but we've grown I actually don't see what I was thinking because I don't remember I got like a lot back do I put ghost in that category? Mm, no, I gotta trust my gut. My gut's telling me it doesn't belong. It's like an in-between. You guys know that it's an in-between, so just bear that in mind. Next, we have November 9th by Colleen Hoover. Now, this is an interesting one because I read this book either on Christmas day or the day before Christmas or the day after Christmas. And I read it in one day. I really loved it. It was my favourite Colleen Hoover book that I'd read. I haven't really, don't think I've read any of Colleen Hoover's books since, to be honest, because it's not really my thing. But I gave it a five star because I think my thought process w was, okay, well, this is my favourite Colleen Hoover book, so I guess it must be a five star. I pretty quickly was like, no, it's not. I, 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 re I refute that decision. I'm taking it back. I'm putting out a statement to say, no, I've changed my mind. So clearly it was a mistake to make her. Yeah, sorry, sorry Colleen, but it was a mistake to make her. Next is Drive and I have, who was this by? I feel like it was by an author called Kate Stewart. I'm gonna check that and if it's that wrong, if that's wrong, I'll put a put her name up, but I believe her name is Kate Stewart. This is a, duology i believe and the first book is a love triangle which i don't know how i feel about love triangles anymore but i enjoyed this one clearly also had kind of like a musician band element which is something that i just love in books if uh, that's another trope that if it has i'm probably gonna add a point because i just love it i don't know why i just do the, the whole like going on tour or them writing songs about oh i just love it absolutely loved this one i liked who she ended up with and i enjoyed both separate romances in their own way because she kind of had like a fully formed romance with one guy and a fully formed romance with the other guy and i enjoyed both and i enjoyed how it end how it ended the next book in the duology is about her and the guy she ends up with i don't remember any of their names that's why i'm just saying her him yeah her and the guy she ends up with kid and the other guy and his um future partners kid not <laughs> getting together oh god i didn't enjoy that one as much but i absolutely loved this one at the time so i am gonna put this in five star bestie because 
I just remember absolutely loving it. It was one of those books where I had other things to do with the day and all I wanted to do was just stare at my screen because I was reading on my Kindle. This is the this is a Kindle by the way. Next is The Roommate by Rosie Dannon. This is more of like a fluffy if it was a movie it would be a romantic comedy kind of book you know what I'm saying? I loved the guy and the girl um I annotated that book like I think that was the most I've ever annotated a book before and I did not expect to love it as much as I did. It was like 300 pages or under 300 pages it was really quick and I remember thinking at the time this is by far my favourite like light fluffy romance so it's gonna get a five stars someone asked me what's your favorite like light heart fluffy romance do you have a recommendation for that i would say this book and i still probably would although i haven't read it in a while but i do feel confident in that so i'm gonna keep with five star bestie but i would have to be in the mood for it next is beach read which is actually the only an Emily Henry book that I've ever given a five star. This I gave a five star because Gus and January are everything and would I take a quote on my arm for this book? There are some good quotes in this book. Mm, if I'm questioning it is that a no? I'm gonna put it in five star bestie but it would go at the top of five star bestie. It's on the it's on the verge. Next is book called Baby Doll by Thea Lawrence. This was another like musician band setting book and the main character in it is a journalist and she's like writing a piece on the band. Oh, I love that. I love that whole concept in general and I loved this book. It is I believe a duology. Is that what we call them or am I talking out my arse? I love this book. I would give it a five star bestie. It was really fun. Um, we love Damien. Next is the Happy Ever After playlist by Abby Jimenez. I'm gonna put this in I can see what I was thinking but we've grown simply because I don't remember anything about this book. I don't remember anything about this book and I know I loved it because I gave it a five stars and it wasn't that long ago so I trust my opinion then but I don't remember anything about it so I can't really support that right now. I can't really support that this time, I'm sorry guys. Next book is Magnolia Parks. Now this, I want this book tattooed on my forehead and I really truly do. I love this book. Um, I actually annotated this book to give to my best friend for her birthday. I haven't done that yet, even though her birthday was in like June because we haven't seen each other. Well, we have actually, we just didn't, I just, for some reason didn't, didn't get around to it. But I'm actually giving it to her this weekend fun story but yeah I absolutely loved this book I didn't expect to love it as much as I did because I hate when the when the guy isn't just obsessively in love with um the main girl and I thought because obviously there's some like cheat I'd heard a lot about cheating 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 I was like oh I'm gonna hate this because the idea that the main guy could even think about cheating on oh I can't do it and then I read it and I realized <laughs> I realized I saw the light it's incredible if you haven't read it you need to read it Jessa Hastings is a wizard and her writing is so beautiful and I love this book I haven't read um Magnolia Magnolia Parts a Long Way Home yet because I am too scared to moving on swiftly on A Court of Mist and Fury um I'd probably take a quote on the arm I'd take a quote on the arm I loved Akatar. Loved Akatar. I ate that up in a matter of week days. Within like a, two weeks probably. And those are long, long books. I mean the whole series. Um the only reason I wouldn't tattoo on my forehead. <laughs> There's only a couple things you can fit on the forehead. I'm, I've not got that big a forehead, so you can't want to tattoo everything on your forehead. Some things need to br be brought down. There's not necessarily a reason for it. Still five star, it's still like an incredible one of my favourite books. But I can't tattoo everything on my forehead, hey. Next is Love Theoretically. Again, I'd probably take a quote on my arm. That's my favourite Ali Hazelwood book, and I love Ali Hazelwood. I've got Check and on my shelf. I'm gonna be reading it really soon. She's incredible, and I love her to death. Love her mind to death. Um, and I love Love Theoretically. It was such a good book. I enjoyed it so much. And I read it during the time that I started getting into like 
all of the fantasies that you do like the akutas and the fourth wings and such and such um and i feel like it is such a pipeline to go from the beach reads and the love hypothesis type books to a romantic fantasy and then you realize wow having like you can have an incredible romance and then a super interesting plot like behind it and a whole world behind it and it just makes it so much better Roman romanticies are here and other romances are here and that's just a fact because there's something that they can't just they just can't because they don't have all this but the love theoretically the love love theoretically i read around the time that i was getting into the fantasy romances so the fact that it was a five star says a lot about how good that book was next we have Thorfwing. i am going to be tattooing this on my forehead um favorite book of the year easily absolutely loved it zayden supremacy violet supremacy 10 is so fucking funny i love that dragon <laughs> I love that again. Time flame and I enjoyed it so much. Thank God. Imagine if I didn't. Things would not have been all right in the House of Commons. <laughs> Archer's Voice. Finally got around to reading Archer's Voice. Thank God. What was I thinking? Not reading that book. Um, and I gave it a five stars because it was so cute, sweet, precious, and amazing. I loved it. I'm gonna put it in five star bestie. I'm gonna put it in five star bestie. Okay. Hold. Everyone, calm down. I loved it. I really truly did. And it's a five star bestie. It's a five star bestie. But I'm not getting any tattoos. I'm not getting any permanent bodily situations about it. And I can't explain why. Because I don't know why. None of this needs to make logical sense. It's just all coming from my brain, okay? And it's how I feel. I just want to respect how I feel. Moving swiftly along to our final book. We do have Iron Flame. We do. Um, now, should I just throw this in with Fourth Wing and call it a day? Or should I just be a bit more deciphering? Because it would be hard. Did I? The question is, did I enjoy Fourth Wing or Iron Flame more? I can't answer that question because I don't know the answer. So I am just going to group them together. They're in love. This is them. I really haven't been able to decide which one I preferred so I'm just gonna say I liked them the same sorry about it and if you didn't enjoy Iron Flame I'm also really sorry about that I genuinely feel bad for people that loved Fourth Wing and didn't enjoy Iron Flame because that would have been soul crushing for me are you guys okay I hope you are you're entitled to your feelings I hope you know that so that is going to be the end of this was this chaotic I haven't decided yet I've been getting more and more chaotic with what I've been doing thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed i'd love to hear your um books that you tattoo on your forehead by that i mean your favorite book <laughs> thank you so much please come back soon bye